On Super Bowl Sunday, Dr. Smith came in from Arkansas, and he was the head of the Psychiatric Research Institute. And he basically said, okay, she's not crazy. Everyone's treating her like, you know, she's been struck mentally ill. Because <laughs> you keep going from one mental institution to the next. Yeah. yeah, she's not crazy. Right. So he said, yeah, no, she's not crazy. Um, she's sad. Mm. She's really sad. And, um, you know, he explained what had happened to me um, in a way that no one else could or had. And that basically the, that mother-child bond, you know, is so huge. And it's like having, you know, nerves, the sort of, that are, I guess, called vega nerves, but they're emotional. Yeah, the connection. there is a vibrational connection. Exactly. And that energy. is real. Yes. That, that there's an energetic, magnetic, vibrational connection. Yeah. And that mine got cut. Yeah. And it got cut in three places. And then it got cut between me and my mom and me and my dad. Yeah. Which is different. Which is a different thing, of yeah. course. Um, but that, you know, just that I was just basically a great big raw nerve. And, um, you know, and that they could help me, you know, and they did. And that in time, that raw nerve would get skin. Get a little layer little, of skin. Lay, little layer of skin. And another layer. And another layer. Yes. And, and I could, another. And I could live. And I could live, live in the world. Yeah. That's right. But, boy, that is such a um, profound description. I'm sure that helped you a lot. It completely changed everything. Yeah. It changed everything. It gave me hope um, where I had none. I mean, I just thought, like, okay, this is it. You know, like, I mean, talk about wanting to die. I think that's so good for everyone else, too, because that's what it feels like when you've been, it feels like you've been severed. Mm -hmm. And you have this enormous loss that you can't even explain to yourself. And you're so, the fact that you are raw, and in time you'll get a little bit of skin and a little bit of skin. I just think that's a beautiful analogy. Yeah. yeah. That you have now lived and proven to be true for yourself. Yes, and I do have, I do have skin. I have some skin, mm -hmm. and um, a lot more than I thought I would have. And does, does, does the development of the skin come from being, from time or being surrounded by people who show you love in ways that they can? I think it definitely comes with both of those two things. Um, I think it comes with definitely the love you know, having, letting other people love me has been a huge part of this journey for me. And, um, and letting other people take care of me has been a big part. Um, and certainly time, you know. Um, it, 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 time doesn't heal anything, I don't think. I think it just, you just sort of learn how to live with it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't numb myself. So that was the big thing that Dr. Smith told me, was that if I don't start acting out, like shooting heroin, okay? Or yeah. if I don't start, you know, drinking around the clock or like those are the kind of things that don't help at all. And those are the kind of things that don't allow for that skin to heal. Like you have to actually feel the feelings, mm -hmm. okay? Which is the most painful. Yes, but it's so much more, in my experience, it's so much more painful to try and stay outside of that pain. Yeah. And the latest thing for me has been about sort of figuring out that I can't outrun my pain. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like just going as fast as I can or doing as much as I can, like that whole, almost like in a manic way, you mm -hmm. know, I can't do that. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. 